So for less than $20, this is very comforting to come home to a very humid enclosure. I am very excited about it. Let me show you how I, I put this together. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey everybody. It all starts with one of these tiny little atomizing head right here. It's a mist maker instruction book and adapter. So the first thing I'm gonna to have to do, thread this through one of the openings in the back. Once I thread this through one of the openings in the back, I'm gonna put this little bucket of water all the way in the back in the corner. Hopefully you won't see it. And then I'll put this little fogger in and we'll see if we can make some fog. And the fog will equate into humidity. So let me see. So even if I get this through there, there is not an outlet up here. So I'm going to thread this through the, there's an area that they have that's made just for wires and whatnot. And I'll just have to fill the uh, water because currently I missed it twice a day. So as long as I check this every day, we should be good. So now let's see how this looks. I'm not real fond of the lights. But if it fogs, when it is filling with fog, and if it fills with fog, that means it's going to fill with moisture. Let me see if I can cover the top with some saran wrap. I think it shuts off automatically when there's not enough water. So keep that in the middle. Let me keep the fog in. And now let me see if I can go get some saran wrap. So it'll be interesting. I on purposely did not mist this down. So I, I will be able to see if in 15, 20 minutes, if there's actually any moisture on. I just really don't like those lights. And then I can put this on a timer so it would fill up, run for a couple minutes, shut off for six hours, run for a couple minutes, shut off for six hours. And if the water's too low, it shuts off automatically. So all the plants around it are nice and moist, but I think it's just because it's splashing. I was kind of hoping all this would be filled up with We'll give it a few. I mean, and I do see that the mist is coming over this way. So if these plants over here start getting a light misting, I want to open it and see, but I'm going to try to be patient. And I'm wondering if it was a deeper container, if it'd be less fog, but also less spillage. I'm going to do a little time lapse and see if it falls off. Well, that didn't last too long. I think that was about 10 minutes before that jar ran out of water. So let me test to see if it's even damp in here. Now this side of the enclosure is, but I think it's because it was splashing water more than the fog. I think the fog is just cool effect. So I'm going to worry about hiding that after I see if it's actually going to work. Maybe it was just too far back. Maybe the enclosure is just too big for this tiny little thing. Not very fond of the uh, colorful lights though. Got one more experiment to do. All right, so I changed the height of the deli cup in hopes that I'll reduce some of the splashing of the water and concentrate more of the fogging. So it seems to be working a lot better. So I woke up this morning and this was doing exactly what I wanted it to do that it didn't do yesterday. And here's what I've come up with. I might not be right, but here's what I've come up with. It's all gonna depend on the water level and the height of the walls. With this height of the walls, with the water level a little bit bigger than this, the fog was shooting up, hitting the saran wrap, and falling where all these plants over here, everything is, everything is misted. So I'm gonna try to add a little bit of water. Because if you add too much water, it, this is what it's gonna do, it's just gonna sit there, but 
So this is what it did yesterday. See how there's a little bit too much water in there? It's only going to be covering the bottom. When that water goes down, it shoots up higher and then spreads out throughout the whole enclosure. And with this closed and the saran wrap loosely fitting the top, most of that will stay in. Oh, I really like it. So there's two things. I'm going to cover that with black mesh and I'll show you that. And I'm going to cover the black mesh with some dried moss. So I was thinking this is going to be a nice alternative. I like this one. If I can work around this whole deli cup sitting in the middle of my enclosure, which I can't get past it. But as you can see that that fog is only going up so high. When that water level drops a little bit, that fog will shoot straight up and over. So I'm going to set that up and I'm going to set up a timer. Let me show you how I'm setting up the timer. It's a three prong timer. So now as you can see, timer on or timer off. Where it's pushed down, there's a good connection. It means that it will be on. Where it's pulled up, there's no connection, electrical current connection. That means off. And I know most of you know this, but I know there's also some people out there that were asking me about this. So I wanted to make sure I covered it. So this is what I'm going to plug the fogger in. So it will come on for one hour, be off for five or six. On, off, on, off. So it'll be on one, two, three, four, five, six times a day. That's this. Now let's see if I can cover up that deli cup look. So this is what it's sitting in, in the water, and I want to cover it. So if I go up to about here, and I'm going to cut. Once this is surrounding that deli cup, it'll make it a little more inconspicuous. I'm just going to build a sleeve. This is going to go along the back. This is going to sit in it just like this. Hopefully you won't see it as much. Let's get this and this. I don't see how it looks in the enclosure. So to start with, I'm going to put this in and I'm going to slip it underneath it because obviously the mister is in there, the fogger is in there. It's not a mister. The fogger is in there with a wire. So is it perfect? No, but is it more inconspicuous? Yes, it is and I like that. Now I'm going to connect this to the outlet. The times that it comes on and off, it's going to be on for a little bit, go off. Be on for a little bit, go off. What I do mind are those lights, but to have a nice humid enclosure without, in case like I had to work late and I, like, cause I miss this first thing in the morning before I go to work after work. Sometimes I have appointments after work. Are they okay waiting till I get home at 10 o'clock at night? Probably. Is that ideal? No, no. I want this enclosure to be misted a couple times a day. So until I get an automatic mister or create one myself, I'm going to use this fogger. I might add some dried fern right around that to help hide it a little bit more. But look how the fog is going up, hitting the saran wrap, scooching out, and then it almost falls as if it's rain. I love it. So I'm just going to take some of this uh, dried pillow moss and put this around the deli cup to see if it hides the uh, cup. See how that looks. You tell me. As you see, I just added some moss. It's not even stuck on. I just laid it on there for now. Love it. So I didn't like how the cover looks. So this still has the cover on it. I just added some dried moss to it. I'm going to uh, probably silicone it or uh, super glue it right to the edges up here so it doesn't fall off. But for right now, I think it's working great. So now all I have to do is add a little bit of water. And when the timer kicks on, so that's how I fogged up this enclosure for less than $20. I think I'm going to go do this to a couple of my uh, frog enclosures now. I'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me. It's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I got a passion for fish and exotics, too, so come along with me. It's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me. It's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Na na, hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, so come along with me. Said I'm Susie.
Thank you.